And it's Gary Spain here for Irish Football Fan TV with my instant after-match reaction after Dundalk 3, KI 1. And that means that Dundalk are into the group stages of the Europa League again. And it's worth three million to the county loud side. So what a, what a fantastic night for the club. So it was a fully deserved win. Uh, KI actually started better, but Dundalk uh, quickly took control of the game. Uh, they took the lead in the 31st minute, sorry, 33rd minute. Uh, Sean Hoare played a long ball into the box. Pat Hoobin headed on and uh, Sean Murray was there to head home. And it was no more than Dundalk deserved. And their dominance continued for the first half. And uh, came out starting well in the second half. A corner kick from Michael Duffy. Keeper should have done better. He fluffed at the, cor the corner. And the ball fell to Daniel Cleary, who hammered the ball into the back of the net. And you're thinking at 2-0, it's game over. But it was anything but, actually. KI came right back into the game. They had their best spell. Uh, they're um, number 17. Let me check this the pronunciation. I'll do the best I can with this. Um, Mitz Kogan. Uh, in the 66th minute made it 2-1 and it was definitely very much game on at that point KI continued to press they, they had a couple of chances they had one, one great chance and uh, fortunately for Dundalk on a, a breakaway uh, Daniel K Kelly ran from, ran from the halfway line and finished very well into the bottom right hand corner and I don't know if you can hear the great celebrations down on the pitch behind me here but it's... Um, it's a great night and Dundalk are absolutely delighted and so they should be. Um, and it, it, tonight was all about the result. It was all about winning. And uh, having come through a couple of tricky uh, away ties, one, they also, I mean, they've been very unlucky, I suppose, in that they were drawn away in the Champions League to Salja, then had to play away to Inter, Inter Escaldes in Andorra, and then had to play Sheriff in Moldova. But... Um, so they, they were certainly deserved a home tie tonight and uh, they got the result they deserved and well the group stages again uh, Dundalk did so well the last time they drew and drew in Alkmaar and uh, beat Maccabi um, and they actually they, they really put it up to Zenit as well uh, so Dundalk fans who do you want in the group stages now do you want Zenit again maybe time for revenge uh, some big names in, in European football are there. Um, Tottenham and Arsenal. Uh, Celtic got through tonight. Uh, Rangers are actually... Uh, it, I don't think it's over as I'm talking, but I think they're two up. Um, presume they're getting through. Um, Milan are playing tonight. They could still get through as well. Um, some great options for Dundalk. Um, so Dundalk fans, who do you want? But uh, tomorrow's draw... Uh, will be eagerly watched by uh, not just Dundalk fans. I think it's a great night for the SSE or Tristity League as well. Um, what are your thoughts, fans of other clubs? Are you delighted for Dundalk or do you think it may give them uh, an advantage and a bigger budget for next season? But um, anyway, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great night for Dundalk. It's a great night for the league. And for the third time in a decade, one of our clubs has qualified for the group stages of the Europa League and so it's from my from me well done Dundalk